Hello, and welcome back to Cuckle's Play's sister location. We are continuing with night three, and I'm unsure how well it will go. Due to unforeseen malfunctions from today's shows, your nightly duties will require you to perform maintenance that you may or may not be skilled enough to perform. It became necessary for technicians to attempt to disconnect Funtime Freddy's power module. However, they were unsuccessful. Allowing them to try again would be an inefficient path forward, as we would need to allow six to eight weeks for recovery and physical therapy. You will need to reach the parts and service room on the other side of Funtime Auditorium to perform the procedure yourself. Let's check on Ballora first and make sure she's on her stage. All right. Well, Great. technically, it looks like everything is as it should be in Ballora Gallery. She seems in Let's in check on Funtime style. Foxy. It's important to make sure she's on her stage before entering. It's a big Great. negatory. It looks like everything is as it should be in Funtime Auditorium. Are you sure? There is no need to check on Baby tonight. Please refrain from entering unauthorized areas. Proceed directly to Funtime Auditorium. Well, I mean, we kind of have to, don't we? I mean, why do what the robotic voice says? But there are robotic voices telling Motion me to do trigger. things all Surface over the place. So, should I listen to anybody? Should I even be here? I'm two days away from retirement. It's all dark in here. You know, for safety. Did you know that I was on stage once? It wasn't for very long, only one day. What a wonderful day, though. I was in a small room with balloons and a few tables. No one sat at the tables, though, but children would run in and out. Some were afraid of me, others enjoyed my songs. Music was always coming from somewhere else, down a hall. I would always count the children. I'm not sure why. I was always acutely aware of how many there were in the room with me. Two, then three, then two, then three, then four, then two, then none. They usually played together in groups of two or three. I was covered in glitter. I smelled like birthday cake. There were two, then three, then five, then four. I can do something special. Did you know that? I can make ice cream. Although I only did it once. There were four, then three, then two, then one. Something happened when there was one. A little girl. Standing by herself, I was no longer myself, and I stopped singing. My stomach opened, and there was ice cream. I couldn't move, at least not until she stepped closer. There was screaming for a moment, but only for a moment. Then other children rushed in again, but they couldn't hear her over the sounds of their own excitement. I still hear her sometimes. Why did that happen? So... That sounds like she killed the girl. Seems very definite that she did. Also, those numbers sound like a number sequence, and I believe they go to the keypads that are all over the place, but... I would, I would need Surface to, like, write event. down the number sequence for me to remember it, because I am not very good at that kind of crap. At least remembering it. <laughs> but, like, there are a bunch of these keypads all over the place.
And I have no idea if they actually do anything. Anyway, let's go do Fox. Protocol Monitorium maintenance vent opened. Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. I'm doing a sequence of one, two, three, stop. It's going very slowly. I have no idea how long this room is, nor whether I can tell where Foxy is, but I'm not going to do the flash beacon thing, because I feel like that's inviting death. Though I do feel like I'm going kind of fast. God damn it! I wasn't looking at the screen when that happened. <laughs> so I just got the noise, and the noise is scary. Uh, I... I guess I'm trying to afford Flash Beacon. Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark, as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. Finally got this. Is a forward bracket? Shift is jump. Okay. Now I've seen this played, and I have an idea how to do it. Let's see if I can get this first try. tell you this is not a completely blind playthrough of Sister Location, because I have seen it played. I'm just seeing if I can do it. Damn it. Fucked it up. Didn't jump high enough. Damn it, I fucked that up too. <laughs> uh, well, I lose. Oh well. Maybe I'll get it next time. Also, I think that first Foxy jump scare, that's the first time I've actually died in this playthrough. Which is kind of fun, for me at least, that I didn't die immediately. Cool. Protocol Monitorium maintenance vent opened. 
Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark, as to not accidentally- Alright, that time I just decided to sprint for it and see if it would work. <laughs> Even took off my headphones because I knew I was going to get jump scared to death. <laughs> Maintenance vent opened. Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark, as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, okay. think this is going to be the trend. I'm unsure of how I'm supposed to do it. Maintenance vent opened. Like, do I flash beacon to Unlike see where Ballora, Foxy is and then Foxy legitimately is change activated. my location? Change For this my direction? reason, it's important to keep the room dark as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. I... It, this is the unsettling part because... You can't see... <laughs> And then I don't think Foxy actually makes any noise, or at least not anything that I can hear. So I am unsure. This is uh, mildly difficult. This part, at least. And I don't want to turn up the volume because that jump scare is loud as Unlike shit. Unlike Ballora, and I'm Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark, as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. There is some rustling, but can't tell what that means, honestly. The real problem is not knowing how close to that door I actually am. Is that it? Motion oh, trigger, sweet. parts and service. Great job reaching parts and service. It seems that Funtime Freddy is out of power, which should make your job much easier. The release switch for the chest cavity is located on the underside of the endoskeleton jaw. To reach it, we will first need to open the face plates. You will need to press the face plate release triggers in a specific order, and it's important to be as precise and as careful as possible. Locate the small button on Freddy's face, just under his right cheek, and press it. Great! Now locate the button under his left cheek and press it. Great, now carefully locate and press the button next to Freddy's right eye. 
Great, now carefully locate and press the button just above Freddy's nose. Good job. The faceplates should now be open. Locate and press the small button on the underside of Freddy's endoskeleton jaw. Excellent. The chest cavity should now be open. Remove the power module from the chest cavity. Great work. You will now be required to remove the secondary power module from the Bonnie hand puppet. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Now this one's tricky. And from watching people, like it's scared off by the light and you have to like let it, you have to wait for it out of like the corner of your light to move enough to where you can click it. First of all, it has to show up, period. So. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. I would if Bonnie would show up. Probably gonna just kill me and make me have to do the foxy thing over again. Which is great. I haven't even seen it. I haven't seen it once. I keep hearing it. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Oh, I saw it here for like a second, but it immediately went away. I don't know. Like, how sensitive is this thing? Because it's just not showing up. Figured that was gonna happen. All right. Oh, I get a second chance at this. Cool. so close <laughs> uh, well that's gonna be it for this episode uh i was so close to having the death mini game so close if i didn't fuck up that jump and be an idiot anyway 
Uh, yeah. Foxy thing's kind of annoying and weird. Super silent during it. The Bonnie Bonnie wouldn't show up. Wouldn't be the wouldn't show up. Anyway, that's it for this one. Uh, we continue night three next time. Sorry, this has been an episode of failure, but it's been an episode of failure.